The internet is basically everywhere. Ever since its creation in 1983, the internet has been incorporating itself into our everyday lives more and more. From Google to Amazon to have the new wave of online school companies like Zoom, the majority of our aspects of our daily lives are now online. With the power of the internet, we've been able to create so many amazing things that we couldn't even dream about 40 years ago. With the new generation being the first to be born into this new technology, the effects of the internet on adolescent brains were mostly unprecedented. But with more research being made about these effects, the results were not as positive as you might think. So what classifies as an internet addiction? Like sure, I'm on the internet pretty often, maybe more than some other people, but does that really mean I'm addicted? Well, according to the American Society of Addiction Medicine, they declare the signs of addiction as this. You can't stop, you crave it, you are not rational enough to see the problems it's causing, and you get angry when people call you out for it. If you fall under one or more of these categories, you might be joining the 37% of people who classify as internet addicts. If you were like me when hearing that, you might be thinking to yourself, all right, I might be an internet addict, but is it really that bad? Well, yeah, it's pretty bad. Internet addiction is more of a silent killer. The mental and social effects that it causes have been mostly swept under the rug, but it's something that affects so many people every single day. Studies have shown that internet addiction has a heavy correlation with eating disorders, desensitization, depression, and social anxiety, all disorders that have been greatly rising through the new generation recently. Internet addiction also acts as a pipeline for the number of other addictions that can be made through the internet, such as pornography or online gambling. Not only can it cause all these mental effects, but the online tech companies are really good at drawing these kinds of people to make them feel safe and distracted to utterly send them down the self-deprecating cycle all over again. I think Simon Sinek says it best. He's a professional speaker and author, where in his interview with InsideQuest, he talks about internet addiction and the cycle that it puts you through. They don't have the coping mechanisms to deal with stress. So when significant stress starts to show up in their lives, they're not turning to a person, they're turning to a device, they're turning to social media, they're turning to these things which offer temporary relief. We know, the science is clear, we know that people who spend more time on Facebook suffer higher rates of depression than people who spend less time on Facebook. Right? These things balanced. Alcohol is not bad, too much alcohol is bad. Gambling is fun, too much gambling is dangerous. So am I saying that all of the internet is bad and you can go smash your phone immediately after watching this video? No, not at all. I think the internet is an amazing tool that is only defining our future and is a staple in our society. All I want you to take away from this video is to be aware. Be aware of the effects that it can cause and be aware of how easy it is to get sucked in by these tech companies. The underlying issues of internet addiction are not nearly as talked about as it should be and is getting new unsuspecting victims every single day. Be aware of what you're using the internet for and why you're using it while browsing, and make sure to check up on people online if they're having a bad time. So, I hope you enjoyed this video, and I hope you learned something new today.